What's up guys, this is Theo here coming to you live with introduction to Python on Codecademy. This is part five. So uh, let's jump right into it. Go here and we're gonna go to conditional, conditionals and control flow. So let's hit up this lesson. Let's reset the code and it has uh, 15. So let's get to it. So, you know, this defines a function printing you know, we're getting some input, calling to lower on it, and a bunch of conditionals. And then we're running the function. So let's look at what we're gonna build. So type left, and cool. Let's undo and reset the code. So set each variable to true or false, depending on what you think the result is. So bool two is, uh, set this to true if 100 is equal to 2 times 50, two. It's true if 19 is less than or equal to 19, true. It's true if negative 22 is greater than false. True if 99 equals, it's not equal to false. So let's try it out. Make sure you evaluate for, for all five variables. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Oh, my bad. I always forget with Python, it's, it's capital. Let's get it, cool. Next one up is, uh, we're gonna go through the same one. Set bool one, to, we already did that one. So set bool two to the result 10 plus 17, which is 27. 16 times 3, last but false. Uh, the next one is 1 to the power of 2 is less than negative 1, false. 40 times 4 is greater than equal to negative 4, true. And 100 is not is equal to 10 to 2, false. And let's run our code, cool. Next up, we're going to do the same thing, that would be false. Uh, write an expression not evaluate this to do. 3 is equal to 4, uh, we'll do make me true, 3 is equal to 3, and false, 3 is greater than 4, and make me true, 3 is greater than 2, let's run our code, cool. Next up, Boolean operators, here's truth table, true, and, true is true, true and false is false, so anytime there's a false, it's false with the and, and anytime with the or, if there's a true, it's true, and not true is false, not false is true, pretty simple. Uh, next up, so set bool one equal to the result of false and false. So false and false is false. And uh, next one equal to the result of, let's look at this. So negative two, two, negative. So this is two is equal to negative two. I think that's false. Next one is 19 divided by four. That's gonna be three is not equal to 300 divided by 10. 30 divided by 10 and, and false, so true and false, it's gonna be false. Uh, rule four is equal to, it's gonna be negative one is less than zero. Uh, one less than zero, that's false and, uh, false and uh, zero is less than or equal to 20. Well, we already know this one false is gonna be false. Next one is equal to true and true, so true, let's try it out, so I got one wrong. Double check your variable for rule four, it's not false, so I guess it's, True, I just read that one too quickly. And uh, next one, set bool one equal to the result of two to the third power, which is uh, two times two, eight is equal to 108. So that's true, or three that's gonna be true. So there's one true. Uh, next one, bool two equal to the result, true or false. It's gonna be true. Next up, it's gonna be equal Bool three equal to the result of 100 is greater than 50 um, or false. So what is this going to be? That's going to be true. Next one, bool four equal to the result true or true. It's going to be true equal to one to the hundredth. I think this is false. We try it out for value three. Okay, I messed up on that one. That's going to be false. We run our code again. Awesome. Let's reset our code. Set bool one equal to the result of not true. So false. Bool two equal to the result of not three divided by four. So three to the fourth. Nine times three is twenty-seven times four is uh, what's twenty-seven times? Or, hold on. Three times three is nine. Nine times three is twenty-seven, and twenty-seven times three is eighty-one. 81 is less than 4 times 4 is 16 times 4 
is 32, 64, so that's going to be false, not false. It's true. Uh, both 3 equal to the result of not 10 to the y3. So that's 1 is less than or equal to um, 0. That's, or so that's going to be false. That 1 is less than, or no, that's going to be true. It's not. Next one is going to be set both 4 equal to the result of not. 3 to the second power, 9, not 9 plus 16, so uh, what's that, 25 is not equal to 25, that is false, so true, and simple 5 equal to not not false, which is going to make it false, let's check this out, got it, alright, man, uh, bull 1 equal to the result of false or not true and true, false or uh, not true. I'm just going to do it like that. Not true, true. Let me see if it, if it likes that. Um, let's see if I can do this. No? Alright. Oof! That's a lot of stuff. Okay. Not get to live first, so we have true, true. Alright, that's a lot of stuff. Uh equals the result of false or not true or true. So or false or not true or true. So three is greater than four. Uh, three is greater than four uh, or uh, equal to false or not true and true. Not is equal to three and uh, three is equal to three. Let me try that out. And uh, or not and three. Okay, so that's good with that one. Next one is the result of false and not true or true. Okay, so false is three is greater than four and uh, not true or true. Not three is equal to three, or not three is equal to three. All right, that's good. Next one is both three. Both three equal to the result true, and three is equal to three, and not uh, three is greater than four, or three is greater than four. So both four equal to the result of not not true. So not not three is equal to three. Uh, okay, getting a little tiring. Or uh, false and not true. So four and uh, not. It's so not true and. Is greater than four. Let me try that out. So line nine for finally. Bull five equal to the result of false. So three is greater than four. Or not. Three is equal to three. And three is equal to three. Let me try this out. Let me check your value for bull two. Bull two equal to the result of false. And then four and not true or true. The result of false and not true or true. So this is false and not true or true. Um, all right, I'm gonna move on. I'm kind of tired of that, to be honest. Um, but you get the point. So next one up is we go here and reset this code. Um, make me true. Three is equal to four. Three is equal to three. Three is greater than four. Three is equal to three. And uh, uh, three is equal to three. And four is equal to four. Three is greater than four. And uh, three is greater than five. Or two. Three is equal to three. Or three is equal to three. Or one two is equal to two. And maybe true. 
I guess we'll put it in parentheses. Maybe that's what I was missing on the last one. It just kind of like messes with your head after a while. I don't know. I'm just a little tired, but uh, it's good logic practice. So we got that. And maybe true. So do 3 is equal to 3, or 5 is greater than 4. Let's run that code. Cool. Let's do if else. If you think the print statement will print to the console, set response equal to Y. Okay, so it says answer is left if answer is left. So we'll set response equal to Y. Let's run that. Oh, my God. Response is equal to Y. Submit that. Cool. Next up is place the underline on line 2 with an expression that returns true. So we do if 3 is equal to 3. And uh, it's not aligned with line 6, if 4 is greater than 3, and let's run that. Awesome. Next up is complete the else statements to the right. So we'll do else uh, false and else returns false. I guess we can do this. We have 3 is equal to 4 and 3 is greater than 2. Let's run that code. Did you add a false after each statement? Oh, I guess I just want false. False and false. On that code and uh, line two following the if statement, so answer is greater than five, so answer is greater than five. Line four filling the else if, so this is Python's else if, else if function outputs negative one. If the answer is less than five, else if answer is less than five. Let's run that. Cool. So is that it? 14, we got one more. All right, so we're an if statement, the following surface must include if. So we'll do if three is greater than two, uh, else if, uh, we'll do if three is greater than five, else if, or we'll do four is greater than five, so four is greater than three. Uh, let's return true. Else if at, at least one of and or else four is greater than three and four is greater than two. And we will want to print nice. Uh, and then we'll print really. And um, finally, four is greater than four to two. Um, Five and four is equal to four. And uh, if we include an if statement, finally, the flying surface must return true when evaluated. And we'll do else return true. And the value none, did you forget to add a return statement? I don't think so. Um, Turn true right here as well. There we go. Cool. So again, I'm on like lesson eight. I got kind of tired of it to be honest. But uh, if anyone wants to see it, I'll go back and do it. My brain is just a little fried, but um, you get the point. So hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. As always, guys, make sure to like, comment, and please subscribe to the channel and support me. It means a lot. So see you in the next lesson and have a great day. Thanks for watching.